Hey guys, all right, I'm here with another uh, unboxing and new product. Uh, another budget option off of Amazon. This is a three watt mini UV sterilizer light. Um, and I'm gonna have to put the, in the description, I'll put the link um, to this product on Amazon because it really doesn't even have much of a name on here. Um, or I can't pronounce it, right? In the upper corner there, it looks like it's some sort of, you know, obviously it's made in China or otherwise. I don't know if that's focused like everything else. Uh, but this is what it looks like. It's a little 110 volt, three watt mini light. It is model ZY Mini. That's what it's called, model uh, ZY Mini. It supposedly has a 10,000 hour uh, life and it does come with a little timer. So based on what I read um, up, specifically on this model, it recommends that you only use it for about three hours every like, I think it was said like every four to five days. So it's not something that you leave on all the time, according to this manufacturer. Um, so here's what it looks like. Super small, submersible light. Um, and it does have a little three, six, 12 and 24 hour timer. Um, once again, I'm not 100% all knowledgeable on these things. Like a lot of my videos, guys, I'm just a real person. I'm not necessarily an expert. Um, I've just heard a lot of good things about UV sterilizers. I do have a little bit of ick right now. I understand it's not gonna get rid of the ick on the fish or in the sand bed or anywhere else. Um, but I also understand that it can't hurt and it can help a little bit. Uh, and of course, if you have any sort of algae blooms, any sort of green water, um, this works, I know it works um, for that. So I'm not sure why they recommend you only use it three hours, like every couple days, four to five days, but it has six, 12 and 24 hour timers. Um, but hey, just add it to the list of shit, I don't know. So looks like there's a little, okay, a little suction cup here because I plan on just putting it back in my sump. Um, cause I'm, as I'm assuming most of you are aware, you do not put this in your display cause it will kill all sorts of stuff, um, and be very harmful to things in your fish tank. You just want to hide it somewhere in your sump. Um, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what happens. Let's see if we can burn our eyeballs here for a minute. All right. So I got it plugged in. Let's see what happens. All right. Well, there you have it. Super low, not very bright. Um, I don't really know what it's supposed to look like. I'm not gonna lie. Hit me in the comments, people. Hit me in the comments. This is a little three watt light. Is this thing supposed to be like blasting UV rays all over the place? Um, or is this all it takes? Because my plan is just to drop this uh, in the back of my sump right here and leave it for like three hours. So I just want to inspect this bulb a little bit more, make sure it's not broken. It looks like it's good. I don't know, maybe I'll go ahead and just throw this thing in here. Hardest part of the whole thing here, getting off the twist die. All right, well, here we go. I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera, pause it. I'm going to bring it over here and give you a better view. So hold up. All right. So I didn't put my filter on here. So we're kind of battling, uh, with the blue light, uh, of the fish tank. But as you can see, so this is it, uh, right here. So right down in there, uh, I have it on. What I need to see is if it's gonna work here, make sure it's not gonna mess with any of the lighting on my optical sensor. Let me throw the filter on and see what this looks like. Oh, what do you know? Much better. So as you look down in there, you see the green uh, UV light. I kind of tucked it down in there. Uh, I think there's plenty of room. I don't think that light is gonna mess with the optical sensor uh, on my overflow, um, but there you have it. So I'm gonna turn on that timer for three hours I'm gonna let that run. I'm not sure how I'm gonna know whether or not it works or not. 
uh, but oh well. So there you have it. Once again, here is that light. I'm going to try to remember to put the description in the description, the link. So let me know, guys, what do you guys know about UV sterilizers? And I'd like to hear uh, some thoughts, experiences. Thanks.